Hi, I'm Rosemary, and I'm going to show you how I do faceless portraits on a vector program. Vector Graphics uses lines for your design, which are transformed into points, which can be manipulated. I'll show you. First, I'm going to outline the face, and I'm going to connect it from the starting point to the ending point. If I get a little bit off the line of her face, I can always fix it later. I joined the lines together and I've done a fill. And now I'm going to check for sure whether it's the dots are in the right place. Having the color in there kind of helps me see her face. And when I get it right, then I'm done. Right there, it was a little bit big. Now I think it's pretty good. I do the same thing with her neck and her arm. And then there's a little patch of skin on, on her one side, below her arm, above her dress. I outline and then I fill. Now I start having a little fun with her hair the flower in her hair, the flowers. I use a brush for those things. I use a brush and I make it wider or I make it skinnier to give, get the effect that I want. On a vectors program, each time I change my color, I have to add another layer. And that means I come out with a lot of layers at the end which I will group together as one layer. I do the same thing with the flowers in her hair. I make the strokes kind of mimic the petals, so it gives it a lot of action in the flower. It makes it a cute little accessory on her. The strokes are a contrast to the solidity of her skin. They make a cute accessory and they make her skin stand out. I'm also going to brush in the top area of her dress because the area is so small and it will be easier for me to do that. Plus there's a little bit of a shadow on there that it will be easy for me to brush in. I'm doing the same with her dress. I'm going to outline it and the dots will come up and I'm going to do fills. And then later on, I'm going to put some brush strokes in the dress to give it a little bit of movement to show the, the, the uh, fullness in her dress. Now I'm going to have some fun again with the flowers where I don't outline and fill. I just use a brushwork. I have a Wacom tablet and it has a pen that is pressure sensitive. So if I press down hard, I can get a wider, uh, a wider width to my lines. And if I don't press down very hard at all, it becomes narrow. So you'll see the difference in the, the lines, how they come down to very thin at the end. And then I change the colors to give more depth. And each time I change a color, I've got to add a new layer. Otherwise, the color will still be the same. I treat the flowers here in her bouquet like I treat the flowers in her hair. I go along with the movement of the petals with my brush strokes and just have fun with it. Now I need to brush in her shoes and her skin on her little legs. They're kind of going off the picture, so I'm not going to give them too much attention. I'm just going to brush them in and very briefly put some straps over it. The most important part of the picture is her face with the flowers around it. So I don't pay much attention to this.
I'm treating her hand the same way that I do the rest of her skin, where I'm outlining it and filling it. But there's two sections of her hand. One is in the light and one is in the shadow. So I outline each one individually and fill it each fill it individually because the one in the shadow is darker than the one in the light. Now I go around and try and fill in all the spaces that haven't been filled in or things that aren't perfect. I do this before my last step, just kind of like finalize the picture. My final step is adding a layer of color to the background. And I do that by adding it as the second layer of all the layers that I put in. The very first layer of my picture is the actual photograph. And the second layer, I want to be the color, which I've chosen as a light purple, and I think it will go good with the picture. So I add a rectangle of the color that I want in the background of the picture. You can see on the right of the picture all of my layers, and there's plenty of them. And down at the bottom is my very first layer, and then the second layer is the light purple rectangle. Again, I'm going around and touching up some of the places that need a little color, like the white in the dress that's showing there needed to be put in. Any other place I see that needs a little, a little filling in of color to make the picture look perfect. I always like to add in a few highlights, like around the hair, maybe in the flowers, all around the important parts of the picture. One of my rules for painting is to always have the most contrast around the most important part of the picture. And there you have her. And now you can sign your name on the picture. If you've enjoyed this video, please tell me some other things that you'd like to see me draw. And please subscribe with the button below. Thank you.